Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. The second exercise I'd like you to do is an example of using one of the arithmetic functions of division, which is the more complex of the, the bunch because it has both a remainder and a, a quotient. So what I want you to do is write a small program to read in two integers. Yes, right there. Uh, you need not validate them, just type them in correctly. So we're going to write a little short program. And what I want you to do is print out the results of the uh, division and the remainder, the quotient and the remainder, both of them. A little bit longer program, but uh, much more straightforward than the previous one. So let's start it. I've already gone ahead and typed up uh, some of it. Since you've gotten practice writing messages before, this shouldn't be any big deal. I've got four messages I'm going to print out. One to read in the first number, the second number, the uh, printing out the quotient and the remainder. I do my line two to make sure that it's on a forward boundary text says this is the start of my main routine and the entry point to our program is main. So let's go ahead and print out the first message, load immediate, V04, that tells the syscall to print out a um, string. The address of the string goes in A0, so that's message 1 and syscall. Now we know that works, so now we want to read in the first number. Okay, so that's V05, and we move the number into a saved register. Okay, V0. Okay, now we're going to print out the second message. So that's load immediate V0 with 4. We're going to load the address of the message into A0, that's message 2, and print that out. And then we're going to read in the number itself, the second number, and do a syscall, which we should do up here too. Syscall. And then move the number into S2. Okay, V0. I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to test the code to make sure it works. It's always just a good thing to do. Okay, so let me uh, let me uh, assemble it and try it. So we will load, reinitialize, and load the file. We'll open it. There are no errors. Let's bring the console over here and let's run it. Simulator, we will run it. Enter the first number will be 5 and then 2 and the program stops so we're okay. So all of that seems to work. So we've got the two numbers read in. Now what we want to do is we want to do the division. So that's easy enough to do. We say divide uh, the first one by the second one. The answers are in low and high. So now what we're going to do is we're going to print those out. So we're going to print out our first message. We're going to say message 3, the quotient is. So we're going to load immediate V0 with 4. We're going to load the address into A0, the message 3. And we're going to do a syscall. And then we want to print out the number. So that is 1, V0, 1. And we're going to MF low. This is the thing I wanted to show you in this particular exercise is to put the quotient into a register. It is MF low, which says move the low register to, and we're going to put it into A0, and we're going to say syscall. Let's test this. All right, let's test this, make sure it works. Let's save it. I'll save, and we'll go to QG spin. We'll say file, reinitialize, and load file. No errors. That's that's always a good sign. We're going to say run and continue. Let's bring this over. And we're going to say the first number is, let's say, 7. It says 5, and it shows the quotient is 1, which is the correct quotient. All right, very good. Now let's add the remainder. So let's go back in here, and let's print the remainder out. Very similar. Okay, we're going to say load immediate into V0, 
for we're going to print out a string. We're going to load the address of the string, which is message four, into it. And we're going to say syscall, and now we're going to print out the remainder. Okay, to print out the remainder, we're pr printing out a number that is one, and now mf high the remainder is in the high register so what we're going to do is we're going to say move the high register into a zero and print that out okay let's save that program and let's go say file reinitialize and load file we always say file reinitialize load and reinitialize no errors that looks very really good so we're going to say run okay we're going to say seven and five so the quotient should be one and the remainder should be two and it, it is it's very good all right well that's an example of an arithmetic um, uh, operation in MIPS uh, good exercise to uh, to do hope this helps you out and I look forward to doing the next one